I think one of the best things here are the people. We have amazing, beautiful, resilient people, and that's definitely something that I like to highlight about the IE. I'm Angel Fajardo. I'm the executive director with the IEIYC. The Inland Empire Immigrant Youth Collective is a grassroots nonprofit organization led by undocumented youth living in the region. Our vision is to empower youth through a region-focused lens to achieve social equity, dignity, inclusivity, and respect. We're like maybe like four full time, but throughout the year we have different people coming in, filling in for us as fellows, as temporary uh, seasonal workers because we do get different grants to um, distribute um, different information. For example, we were just uh, recently titled a trusted messenger with the state of California. And so through, through that work, we were able to touch and communicate with over at this point, probably like 10,000 people within the last two years. Um, we've done that with the help of our youth, some of them interns from university, some of them that were employed with us. So IYC has been part of the Health for All campaign for over a decade. Um, and there's been great success with that, right? Like uh, there was the passing of Health for All Children, Health for All Young Adults, Health for All Elders, and now everybody in between. And so while that's a success, it's still only for very, very low income families. There's that lack of healthcare, uh, medical insurance, right, for the undocumented community and has been for a long time. And at this point, because we have some undocumented mixed status families, the income is a little higher than that and they don't qualify. So we're still moving forward with how do we advocate for those people? One of the main obstacles undocumented immigrants face is having little to no access uh, for resources at a high school level. And because of that, we developed UMA, so Undocumented Mentorship Academy, and it's a five-week program dedicated to high school students where we talk about and created a safe space that addresses undocumented entrepreneurship, social justice, wellness, and social advocacy. We pair them up with a mentor, and we just talk about what it is to be an immigrant grant in the IE in California in the world and show them that there are opportunities for them. We find it necessary to give undocumented immigrants that resource and that mentorship so they feel confident um, and secure when they have to navigate higher education. One of the biggest obstacles that we face is financial stability, especially younger undocumented people, those that weren't able to qualify for DACA. It's going to get a lot more difficult to find new opportunities and they won't have a work permit. So I think for them, you know, it's gonna be a little difficult to kind of get started, regardless of their education level. Uh, the Imaging Fellowship uh, was a program that began last year in August. And what the fellowship is, um, is to kind of give professional experience to the fellows. And we had uh, different fields for each fellow. And the goal was to kind of build that experience. And um, it was also a paid uh, fellowship. So it was great um, to have an opportunity to both gain experience and also get paid, which is not something that just comes often uh, given our circumstances. When I joined IIYC, the passion stemmed from wishing I had these resources available when I was younger. It would have been really helpful, and I can only imagine how much more we would be able to bring to the table if, if, if more youth had that opportunity. 